Hello, Froggy or Froggy Warriors that are coming to session. My name is Starlight Friedenberg and I am going to be your Canva practitioner, whether it's for a private or a group ceremony. And sometimes in group ceremony, you may have a, an additional or multiple practitioners that will be present. So if you see other people, that is why. Today, first and foremost, what I'm going to be doing is just explaining the practicalities of what to expect or do on the day of ceremony. First rule, you cannot have Cambo or receive Cambo if you have eaten. So you need to ensure that you are fasted for a minimum of eight to 12 hours. And that is most important because that will tie in with health and safety risks because with Cambo, you know, it is acting as purgative. So that means you'll either be vomiting. It's not that every patient does vomit or every client does vomit, but nine times out of 10 you do. So we need to ensure that through that process of purge that you do not end up choking on anything. So that's an absolute necessity, no compromise. Second, because for ceremony, you will be ingesting large quantities of water, which can lead to anything between one and a half to three liters of water. I recommend not to have any fluids in the morning. Absolute learner is caffeine content with people have their usual coffee, um, absolute learner, even herbal teas, water, like I said, come in a really, really purely fasted state so that when you have to drink water, it's not going to be a process of resistance. Whether it's your first time for Cambo or second or third or fourth learning and that you're quite an experienced uh, receiver of the medicine. First timers, traditionally men will be doing medicine on the left arm. So what I ensure and I like to ask men or and even women can do it on the left arm if they so wish, is to ensure that they wear an, um, a sleeveless shirt or a loose shirt. So either we will roll it up or um, which I can hold or just a sleeveless shirt or you will be shirtless. Women, we do treatment first time on the bottom right side of your leg. So to wear either loose pants, three quarter pants, uh, to ensure that access to the area uh, is maintained. You may or may not, it's not very common, but it is a form of purge sweat excessively. So I always encourage people to bring a change of clothes and a towel. This is just for in case, but not frequently used, but you don't want to be that person that if you are very ill, you can't clean yourself or have a change of clothes. Because Cambo also works as a, um, it alters your blood pressure. So that means people can drop in their temperature and then get cold. So it's really, really advised to bring a jumper or something warm, maybe a, an extra blanket or a hot water bottle, just something if you feel that you may need that. I do also advise that post-session to bring some snacks, maybe some yummies that you like or some special teas because it's really, really advised again to eat something or consume something post-ceremony just to bring that blood sugar level back up um, after you've gone through your intense process. So that's all you need to know for today um, in terms of the practicalities. And most important on the day, we're talking about mindset. So intention, super key. What are you coming for session? What do you want to remove? What is holding you back? What are your blockages? What do you want to manifest in your life? I say this with such seriousness is that Cambo is profound. Cambo is magic. Magic does exist. Be open to receive. But in order to receive and welcome a new energy, you have to let go of that old stagnant energy that's holding you back. So in your intention, what are you coming with? What do you want to let go of? And bring that into ceremony because like any person, if you want to achieve progress, you want to reach a goal in life, you need to have direction and you need to have an aim and you need to have a focus. If you come in aimlessly, you won't receive the benefits of achieving or fast tracking your process or progress as quickly as you could. And I feel as that we're born here as humans 
we have a finite amount of life, right? So let's try and maximize and fast track that process as much as possible. So I think that's all for today. And that is what to expect on the day practically and mentally. I'll make another video now that is gonna be following to say what to actually expect on the day when medicine is put onto your body. Bye.